New tonight, the future of Mercy Philadelphia Hospital may be a little more clear. Less than a week after the hospital's owners announced inpatient care would be ending. We're learning more about the hospital's plan going forward. Alexander Hall is in Cobbs Creek tonight, where city and state leaders held a special community meeting. Alex? Well, Mercy Hospital has been serving this West Philadelphia community for over 100 years, so the news last week definitely came to a shock to a lot of different people. As for the takeaway of tonight's Q&A, it is that the hospital does not plan to close right now. They are exploring other options to keep it viable. Over 100 people gathered inside of the Church of Christian Compassion in West Philadelphia out of concern for what many consider the community's longtime lifeblood, Mercy Hospital. One attendee, Helena Speller, says that it was Mercy that caught her cancer early. As of March 5th, we'll be 11 year breast cancer survivor. Speller's family has received care at Mercy Hospital for five generations. We, the community, are going to work with them. And the hospital needs the help. Last week, the leadership for Mercy's parent health system, Trinity Mid Atlantic, announced that they would be cutting inpatient services. Tonight was really about a listening session with the community because it, it, it's scary stuff. While fielding questions, Trinity's president and explain that the hospital has no plans to close, but it has been losing well over a million dollars a month. We realized several months ago after doing some analysis that we the way we're providing care today is not sustainable long term. So we're looking at options as to how we can transition to campus. Their plan now is to explore possible partnerships that could preserve Mercy's status as a hospital that continues their faith based mission of serving the underserved. Colleagues, our medical staff, our community, it's very, they're very important to us. A potential partnership has not been set in stone, but Woodward says that the hope would be to continue inpatient behavioral health services and operate a downsized ER department of about 30 beds. Speller says the meeting left her optimistic. I'm very happy for the meeting this evening. Again, Mercy Hospital does not plan to close, but if a planned partnership does not work out and that ends up being the case, they would have to provide the city with 180 days notice. Now, Woodward says in that scenario, he is confident, he is hopeful that all of the jobs could be absor absorbed, that is, by other Trinity-affiliated local hospitals. Reporting live in West Philadelphia, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Alex.